office and it's comfortable and you know a good coffee and clean bathrooms baby you know <laughs> that, that's what um, it, that's what it's all about i mean so yeah. go ahead I wanted to get back, you know, like I was saying, I have this thing where it is mastery before reward. So, you know, give yourself a break, understand that you're going through a process. Um, and this goes to the question Jose asked earlier, you're going through a process to become skilled and expert at what you do. You know, we have someone we can look at in a claw diamond who, you know, created his own system and has obviously put in countless number of hours in order to get to the level at which it's automatic. Like his responses are automatic. We're going to get to that point as long as we put in the time. Now, you know, one of the common things that's out there is it takes 10 hours, 10,000 hours to master something. So if you look at, at it, you know, you might be in hour 20 or hour 200, but you're still on your way to mastery. Just enjoy the journey called On My Way to Mastery, right? But Claude, in terms of you, when did, how long do you feel like it took you to get to the point at which you really, you know, where it went clunk, where you're like, I got this, this is, this is ingrained, this is who I am, um, you know, I'm getting ready to go conquer the world with it. You want me to tell you the truth or just make everyone feel good today? Um, oh. We're going to go for truth. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just got to go for it. There's no magic number. There's no, ma yes, you should put, you got to put in the time. I work yeah. on my skill set every day. I practice Steve, real world phone calls, uh, mm -hmm. training. I love it because it improves my skill set. Uh, so anything you do every day on a consistent mm -hmm. basis, you can't help but get better. Let me ask you, Victor, uh, yeah. when, uh, when you kiss a girl today, are you much, Are you a better kisser today? I'm being very careful. It's a family show. Than you when you kissed Betty Lou when you were 15 years old? Yeah, much better. Much better. Okay. Okay. And you guys are reading my mind. You know where I'm <laughs> thinking, going here. Um, okay. So the thing about it is, what's the best teacher experience? Seriously, go on the phone, go on the phone, make some calls today, tape record yourself, listen, and, and then do that diagnostic I always talk about. Okay, what did I do right? What did I do wrong? Oh, why did I say that? Oh, and you, if you're constantly analyzing and improving yourself, you're slowly, meticulously going to get better. Yeah. You're slowly, but sure. But the thing is, if you're going to wait for that magic moment, it's never going to come. It's never going to be the right time. I say, go for it today. Uh, you know, my, I'm kind of, my personality, I, this is my analogy. I'm the kind of guy, if I ever, first time I ever go skydiving, I know I'm going to get up in the plane. I'm going to enjoy the flight up to 20,000 feet or whatever. I'm going to yeah. jump out of the plane. I'm going to love the view and the free fall and everything. And then after about 30, 40 seconds, I'm going to go, Where oh there? shit, did I put on a parachute? <laughs> Okay, so you just gotta go for it. Pick up the, what's the worst that could happen? If you, yeah. okay, if you kiss a girl on the first date, she'll either kiss you back or slug you, okay? You gotta take that chance. Same thing in phone calls. You gotta call these people up. Sir, I heard you have a problem. Is there something I can do to help you today? I've got a lot of good solutions here for you. I even got John and Mary who wanna buy your property. You wouldn't wanna talk about that. They also have $10,000 to put down. That wouldn't be of interest to you today, would it? Even if I could get your full <laughs> price? I mean, so you, and they may hang up on you. They may curse you. That's the price you pay for that freedom thing I talked about a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, but don't wait, just go for it. Okay, yeah. I'm what you call, maybe, I'm, maybe I shouldn't be teaching this part but I'm what you call the impatient salesperson. I don't want to wait for it to happen. I want to make it happen. I think you've got to be proactive. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, I want to ask you one more question. I don't want to be an interview, but you know, you, you, you showed up, so we're going to- I'm 